When I learnt about this study, I was blown away. As we had studies showing the benefits of fruits and vegetables in preventing chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, but this was a study looking at people who already had this devastating and irreversible lung condition. Researchers took 120 COPD patients and split them into two groups. Half were told to increase their fruit and vegetable consumption, and the other half stayed on their regular diet. The increased fruit and vegetable group had to eat at least one more serving a day of fruits or vegetables. After three years, the control group got slowly worse, which is expected with this disease. However, the group that ate at least one more serving of fruits or vegetables started out the same, but did not get worse, and in fact they appeared to get a bit better. We don't know exactly what was creating this effect. It could have been the antioxidants in fruits and vegetables, or it may have been the anti-inflammatory effects of these plant foods. Or, as the study mentioned, it may have been due to the fact that by eating more fruits and vegetables, they ate less meat, which is known to be a pro-oxidant. This impressive study published last week in July 2023 showed that a plant-based diet was found to reduce the risk of cancer-related death in individuals diagnosed with lung cancer. The researchers found that among 447 patients with newly diagnosed lung cancer, those who stuck rigidly to a healthful, plant-based diet whilst limiting processed and animal-based foods, had a 34% reduced risk of dying from their lung cancer. And finally, whilst anecdotal, this is an inspiring lung cancer story. In 2017, completely out of the blue, Mallory Taylor's vibrant, active and healthy 75-year-old mum, who was not a smoker, was diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer, with the only symptom being a shortness of breath while playing tennis. Mallory said, As my mum's treatment plan began to fall into place, I couldn't help but worry that conventional medicine wouldn't be enough. The statistics for stage 4 lung cancer survival were dismal, and I refused to accept them. I racked my brain for something I could do to help her gear up for this battle. There had to be a way to help boost her immunity and discourage the cancer's growth. After being overwhelmed by conflicting studies, differing opinions, and the huge number of different cancer-fighting diets, she turned to her friends, the Esselstyns. And after doing her homework, watching documentaries, reading books, and research, she found that research to be undeniable, and became convinced a plant-based diet was the best way forward for both her mum and herself. After a year on a plant-based diet while going through treatment, Doctors told them her mum's cancer had completely stabilised and the cancer had stopped growing. Even the doctors were shocked, which prompted the family to ask them if she could pause treatment and give her body some time to recuperate from the chemotherapy. And he agreed. But Mallory said he was visibly perplexed, since most stage 4 cancer patients don't experience this outcome. I couldn't help but blurt out, you should tell all your patients to eat a plant-based diet. He grinned and shook his head slightly, but seemed to consider my request, which I counted as a win. Five years later, they've just celebrated her mum's 80th birthday. Over these years, she's had some targeted radiation therapy and is now taking a maintenance immunotherapy drug that had not been approved by the FDA while she was first diagnosed. However, Mallory states, There is no doubt in my mind that this diet has prolonged her life. She has beaten the odds by a long shot and is enjoying every second of her busy and fulfilling life. Ever since what she describes as this life-changing experience, she started up a brand called Plants Only, which includes a wide variety of gifts and gear designed for the plant-passionate community. Links will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.